The Global Food Policy Report is the first publication that represents the major, major food policy developments in the past year and outlook for 2012. It is based on research, so evidence-based. However, it is non-technical. So the non-technical person, such as uh, politicians, policymakers, practitioners, or anybody else who is interested in food security can use it uh, as a compre comprehensive handbook. The, the, the major issue that we try to raise in, in this chapter of, of the book is basically how uh, historically price volatility has increased over time. Uh, what we show there is that between January 2001 and December 2006, there were in average per year around 26 events of uh, extreme price volatility. Well, I definitely think there are some severe challenges in, in this region. There's a kind of a vicious circle here involving weather shocks, possibly climate change, conflict, rapid population growth, and also the breakdown of some traditional institutions and fairly limited uh, investment in the past in these regions. Focusing on just the climate change um, policies without thinking about the larger food security challenges is a mistake as is thinking about the larger food security challenges without taking into account the effects of climate change would also be a mistake. Biofuels will continue to remain, um, will continue to, to be in business. I mean, the situation within the U.S. Uh, in 2012 going forward is very different from when it was really booming in the 2006-2007 period. I think 2011 was very exciting because of the agriculture, nutrition and health coming together as people began to realize you can ask more of agriculture than simply production. Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, this is the region which was affected by land degradation the most. And in, it is uh, in this context that we are seeing there are the biggest challenges. The uh, major opportunity is going to be related to the emerging new players in the global food security. I think they're going to play an increasing role in enhance the global food security. Countries need to do a couple of things, not just in 2012 but beyond, is to continue the effort to improve management of the agricultural sector to get agriculture growing again and much stronger. But they also have to look at complementary policies outside of the farm sector itself. For 2012, the food price will remain very high and volatile. And some of the long-term trends like climate change, and population growth, or demographic shifts towards more urbanized and to, towards higher income will, put, will continue to put pressure on global food security. And some of the opportunities we will have in 2012 include G8, G20 conferences. Agriculture has come back to the development agenda. However, we have to leverage agriculture for broader development outcomes. So not just the food security, but also nutrition and the health outcome, uh, gender equity to save water, energy, and other natural resources, and provide employment income for smallholders.